Since we had learned the trigonometric ratios for angle 45 degrees, now we'll learn the trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So just recall in trigonometric ratios for angle 45, we had taken isosceles triangle. Why we had taken the isosceles triangle? Because the 45 degree can be easily be seen in isosceles triangle. Now we had to look for 60 degrees and 30 degrees. So which triangle we can take? Think a little. We can take equilateral triangle. Why? Because in equilateral triangle, all angles are 60 degrees. And if we make some construction, if we uh, make a median or an angle bisector or an altitude, everything will bisect this angle in two parts that will be 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Let's see how it is done. So this angle is 60 degrees and if I draw a perpendicular from A, so this perpendicular will bisect this particular angle. So let me mark first this point to be D and AD will bisect this angle A into 30 degrees and 30 degrees. So this particular angle will be 30 degrees. You have to focus on triangle ABD. You can see there is a right angle at, at D and ABC is a equilateral triangle. So you have to just focus on triangle ABD. Let's assume the side of equilateral triangle to be 2A. So let's assume this side to be 2A. So can you tell me the length of BD now? BD will be A. Why? Because for an equilateral triangle, a median, uh, an angle bisector and an altitude all are same lines. So AD is angle bisector and a median as well. So BD length will be equals to A. So we can find the value of AD as well in triangle ABD. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem in triangle ADB. Let's apply it. It's hypotenuse square. AB square will be equals to AD square plus BD square. Put the values. AB is 2A. So its square will be 4A square is equals to AD we have to find out. So let's write it this only and plus what's BD? BD is A. So this will be A square. Now let's find the value of AD. AD square will be take A square here on the left hand side. This will be 4A square minus A square. So if we calculate the value of AD, this will come out to be 3A square. And if you take the under root on both the sides, this will be root 3A. So the length of AD comes out to be root 3A. Now in this triangle ADB, we have got all the lengths of the sides. We have got BD, we had got AB and we had also got AD. And you can also see that we have angle 60 degree and angle 30 degrees in this triangle. So we can easily find the values of all the trigonometric ratios by using Sokatoa. So a first value is, let's find the value of sine of 60 degrees. Can you tell me what will be sine of 60 degrees? Remember Sokatoa. So it will be so. Opposite will be if we are taking angle B, angle B is 60 degrees. So opposite to this angle is AD and the length of AD is root 3A. So this will be AD upon what is the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is AB. So this is AD upon AB. Put the values. AD we had calculated to be root 3A upon 2A. So A will get cancelled out and this will be root 3 by 2. Similarly, we can find the values of 
cos 60 degree, tan 60 degrees. Let's find out. So cos 60 will be equals to just recall so got over it's ka cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse so adjacent here is bd and hypotenuse is ab so this will be bd upon ab this will be equal to put the values a upon 2a a will get cancelled out and this will remain as 1 by 2 and tan 60 Either you can apply Soka Toa or we can divide sin 60 and cos 60. So let's divide root 3 by 2 upon 1 by 2 will be 2 get cancelled and we'll get root 3. So this will be root 3 by 2 upon 1 by 2. 2 will get cancelled and we'll get root 3. Similarly, we can find the value of cot 60. Cot is 1 by tan. So we'll do the reciprocal of this. So we'll get 1 by root 3 and let's find the value of sec 60 as well sec 60 will be of reciprocal of cos 60 so do the reciprocal of 1 by 2 1 by 2 reciprocal is 2 so we'll get sec 60 as 2 finally the value of cos 60 will be equals to reciprocal of sin 60 so do the reciprocal of root 3 by 2 we'll get 2 by root 3. So this will be 2 by root 3. So we had calculated all the values of all the trigonometric ratios for angle 60 and you can also match that all the values are according to the table. Now we have to calculate the value for angle 30 degrees. So let's draw a line and now we are taking this angle, angle A. 30 degrees so all our opposite and adjacent will change now AD will be adjacent and BD will be opposite so let's find the value of sin 30 first sin 30 will be opposite upon hypotenuse opposite has changed now BD is opposite so let's write BD upon BD upon a B this will be put the values A upon 2A this comes out to be 1 by 2 now let's find the value of cos 30 so cos 30 is adjacent upon hypotenuse so adjacent is AD and hypotenuse is AB so let's put the values directly this will be root 3A upon 2A a will get cancelled out this will come out to be root 3 by 2 similarly we can find the value of tan 30 either by applying soka toa or by dividing sin 30 and cos 30 so let's divide these two this will be 1 by 2 upon root 3 by 2 so 2 will get cancelled out and what will remain is this will be 1 by root 3 let's find the value of cot 30 cot 30 will be 1 upon tan 30 so let's reciprocal this 1 by root 3 this will come out to be root 3 so this will be root 3 similarly we can find the value of sec 30 sec 30 will be reciprocal of cos 30 so reciprocal of cos 30 will be 2 by root 3 this will be 2 by root 3. Similarly, we can find the value of cosec 30 by doing the reciprocal of sin 30. Sin 30 is 1 by 2, so its reciprocal will be 2. So this comes out to be 2. So this way, we had calculated the values of all the trigonometric ratios for angle 30 and angle 60. Now you can see that all these values match exactly from the table. So either you can go this way to know the values or you can remember the table because ultimately we have to 
directly use these values in the questions. So you can learn the table to solve the questions.